now I'm going to grab the hook. I don't know if you can see that this conical head versus a con convex head. I'm going to put the conical head towards the eye. So I'll put it on the, the hook itself. Now this one doesn't... This, or keep in mind this is not the, the, the same Orvis bead that I've been using. It's a little bit different. So I'm just going to have to force it to go over that bin. Okay? And it'll stop there. I'm going to go in a lot of detail just for the guys that are real beginners. This next thing that we're going to do is we're going to build the head. So what I do is I'm using black size uh, 6 aught thread and I'm just going to tie it on here right on up against the eye. About five or six wraps. Then I'm going to trim it. Okay. Is I'm going to build a head, right? Yep. To get, we're building this head up. That's all we're doing. Now, um, it's going to take a little bit to build this head up. So it's going to stop the bead from going over the eye. Can you see that? Yeah, okay, I want the bead to come right up to the eye. I don't want the bead to come right up to the eye. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to have a little black head right there when we finish it. Okay, so I've got, I've got the thickness that I want. Now I'm going to come back towards the back where it's going to be covered by the bead. So I, I'm wrapping it towards the, the hook. And I'm just going to throw in a couple of quick half hitches. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Just three three half inches. Now, I'm going to put a big old dab of head cement on here. The stuff I'm using is called hard headed and it's uh, a pretty good water based. I've got head cement on my thread. I'm going to push my bead up and then I'm going to rotate it towards myself about a quarter of a turn as I'm putting a little pressure. And I'll, I'm just twisting the bead on there and I'm kind of getting it aligned. You want it, you want the hole in the bead to be perpendicular with the shaft of the hook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to start right back about where the hook, if I was just to let this dangle, it would, it would stop right about at the point of the hook. Okay. I'm going to wrap it about three or four times, trim off the end. Okay. Now, remember a moment ago I was talking about the texture of dubbing. Now see how this has got different colors in it? Right. Can you see that in the, in the screen? Okay. I like a lot of different colors in, in the dubbing. This one um, just came straight out of the bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch a little bit and just roll it on the thread. Now, I'm dangling my thread so there's a little tension and I just am taking a little pinch. Thickness, if you're tying little thin dry flies and you're tying the dorac, uh, thorax with um, dubbing, thickness is really important. For these type of flies, I don't care. I just want it to hold on there. Now, this is going to take a little while because it's a size 10 hook. I'm going to put three layers on, okay, maybe more. So I just come back a little bit on the curve of the, the hook. Now, if it starts slipping down, I just push it up on the, the thread. There's nothing magical about this. Okay, now, if you want a good bulletproof fly, you want to make sure that your layers are on there. See how I've got it spun on there? There's a little gap there. I just move it up, twist. I can move this whole chain up. Okay, now I'm going to come back. So here's like the second layer. Okay, I am almost done. See how the, the, the body proportion is getting kind of plump? This is, this is how I like the fly. Now, 
I'm going to build another collar up. And all I'm going to do is wrap about maybe 30 times right behind the collar of the, the, the bead. Yeah, I'm securing it. I'm building. There's a hole in the back of the bead. I'm kind of securing it. And it's also going to give me a place to dump a big old dab of head cement. So the only difference between this one and then those slides, the partridge or whatever you say. Is the, the partridge feather. Okay? So, you see that? What I'm going to do is just do a couple of half hitches. I was about to trim it. Okay, so a half hitch is really simple. You simply put a couple fingers across it, make a loop, draw it in. Now I'm holding it with my two fingers, my thumb and my index finger, and just pulling it tight. Okay? Again. And right down in here, not the act, not the lowest tail feathers, not the lowest tail feathers, but right up here. Okay, and all the way up through the back are various sizes of the feather that we're going to use, which is this guy right here. Can you see that? Now, since this is a size 10, we're going to want a pretty good size feather. Okay, so you see how I separated that? This is the very tip of the feather. And then I pulled them all down. What we're going to use is all these feathers right here. But what you want to do is just dangle it down and loop it in there. It doesn't really matter how you got it in there, but I put four wraps on. Okay? I'm going to put hackle pliers on so you can see. We're going to go around here one to two times. And I'm also going to adjust that I wrap it kind of perpendicular. But before I go any farther, I got it halfway over there, I'm going to cut the tips out. I'm going to leave my thread on the back side and I'm going to wrap counterclockwise. I'm sorry, clockwise if you were looking at the hook shank going in this direction. But I want to keep the, the, the thread out of the way. So you're wrapping towards the eye, not towards the gap. Yeah, there we go. I got one wrap in there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wander the thread back and forth to kind of flare the feathers up. Now this time I'm going to end up in front. So I like to usually go around about three, three to four times. That'll just separate the partridge feathers. Okay. Now, okay, then I cut that out of there, and I just pull them back, finish it off, and put a couple more half inches in there. You could do two feathers, could you? Be yeah, you could. Okay, now I'm going to put a little head cement on. I'm going to pass this one around.